What is a weed? A plant whose virtues have not yet been discovered. Ralph Waldo Emerson. I've stayed in the front yard all my life. I want to peek at the back, where it's rough and untended, and hungry weed grows. A girl gets sick of a rose. Gwendolyn Brooks. The Learning Gardens Laboratory is a roughly 11-acre parcel of public land located in southeast Portland, Oregon, that is part community garden, part garden-based education, and more. The garden incorporates permaculture or permanent agriculture, which is a more earth-friendly and sustainable means of growing food. The Learning Gardens is primarily geared to serve the students and families of the multicultural and lower-income southeast Portland neighborhoods that the garden calls home. The garden aims to provide a hands-on and enriching learning environment for students and volunteers alike. Established in 2005 through a partnership of Portland State University, Portland Public Schools, and the City of Portland, the Learning Garden seeks to create an educational laboratory resource that will give students and youth in Portland hands-on, multicultural, interdisciplinary, intergenerational, and multisensory experiences that promote earth-friendly local food production and improve student learning. As part of this mission, students from Portland State University's University Studies Program and Senior Capstone, Environmental Education Through Native American Lenses, have filmed the weeds in this video at the Learning Garden site. Let's look at the way not to pull weeds. Pulling weeds like a pro takes practice. You must identify the plant you wish to remove from the garden. Tim has identified quack grass. Tim illustrates the wrong way to pull the quack grass. He's ripping the tops out without addressing the root. As you see, the roots were left behind. Liana shows the damage that can be done when using the improper tool. She demonstrates using a trowel to remove a dandelion. You can see the large hole that is left behind. Next she uses the proper tool, a forked dandelion tool or fishtail weeder which removes the weed with minimal damage to the earth. The trowel works best when attacking a large group of weeds. The best way to get rid of unwanted plants is to remove the entire plant from the tip to the root. Let's look at plant identification. You must determine the best way to remove each plant to assure it will not return. Bindweed, a type of morning glory, it is a creeping vine that quickly swamps and strangles annuals and shrubs. It can be identified by white trumpet-like flowers and arrow-shaped leaves. While bindweed has a single taproot, which is easy to remove with a trowel or fishtail weeder, many rhizomes may exist underground. Even a small amount of rhizomes will lead to the growth of a new plant. An attempt to remove the entire plant is the best method of eradication. Dandelion, one of the most common pest plants in North America, dandelions are fast growing and distinguished by a one inch yellow flower. It is best to remove the plant before it goes to seed. 
To remove, make sure to extract the entire taproot to prevent further plants. A dandelion fork, also known as a fishtail weeder, is a versatile tool. It is important to note that dandelions are edible and are great in salads and soups. The flowers can be used to make wine, the leaves can be cooked or eaten fresh. The roots can be roasted and used as a coffee substitute. Dandelion is a rich source of vitamins A, B, complex, C, and D, as well as minerals such as iron, potassium, and zinc. Lamb's Quarter, also known as summer spinach. Lamb's Quarter is an edible plant which grows in most parts of the world. If harvesting, it is important to clip the seeds to promote a larger plant and to prevent more plants from starting. Lamb's Quarter can be distinguished by soft, powdery, arrow-shaped leaves. Mature plants will have numerous white seeds at the top of the plant. As Tim demonstrates, mature Lamb's Quarter can just be pulled out by hand. Common mallow will grow in a wide range of soil conditions. Mallow can be identified by its wide, rounded, slightly hairy leaves. Its flowers are white to pale purple and bloom April to October. Mallow stems grow 4 to 12 inches long. The roots branch at the base. Leanna demonstrates the proper use of the fishtail weeder, removing the mallow roots completely. Leaves and young shoots of common mallow are edible, raw, or cooked. They have a mild, pleasant flavor and are said to be highly nutritious. Quack grass, a fast growing and highly efficient grass found in most areas of the world. Quack grass can be distinguished by long narrow blades of grass that are about 6 inches in length. Plants like quack grass appear small above ground although their root structure can be extensive. It is best to remove the grass early when single blades of grass appear. When removing, try to extract as many rhizomes as possible. Even a single inch of rhizome left in the earth will create a new plant. This area has been sheet composted using cardboard or burlap, which makes weeds much easier to remove. Always remember to work with clean tools. You should clean tools after each use. Here's Tim to talk about Learning Garden Lab's tool care. We have our dirty tool. And we put it into the sand bucket. And this is sand and linseed oil mixed together. Oh, interesting. And there isn't much dirt on here. Oh, right but it, it'll bind to any of that. And then you take it over here using a wire brush. Mm -hmm. You brush off any excess dirt. And this helps with rust. Okay. When that's done, you come on over here. Boiled linseed oil. Okay. Put some of that onto a rag. And then we apply that to the handle. Very cool. 
And you do this animal. after every use? After every use we'll do this. Okay. And put them back in their proper location. Great.